Yes, Sindhu Priya. Can you introduce yourself? Yes, sir. Uh, good morning, sir. It's my pleasure to introduce myself. Uh, I'm Sindhu Pierce. I completed my MSc from Raichur University in the year of 2024. And about my family, my family consists of four members, including me. And about my brother, he is working at Bajaj Finance Company. And my father, he is doing business. And my mother, she is housewife. After completion of my MSc, I have taken industrial training in Rainbow Pharma Training Lab. Here, I have did understood roles of pharma industry, departments of pharma industry, and about GLP. And I have handled and I have performed wet analysis like friability test, average weight, weight variation, disintegration, and moisture content. Also, I have performed chemical tests like uh, handling of HPLC. And in that, I have performed tests like Essay by HPLC, Dissolution by HPLC, UOD by HPLC, and Residual Solvents by GC. And also, I have gained knowledge about tracing of OAS and OT incidents. About my hobbies, I have uh, interest in dancing and singing. Hope within less time, I have completed my brief introduction. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sindhya. Thanks for your self-introduction. So, in your total experience, so you took an industrial planning in Rainbow Pharma Training Lab, right? Yes, sir. So, there you performed some wet analysis and a chemical analysis. Yes. Can you explain that? How did you perform the friability test? Yes, sir. Uh, to perform friability test, we need a 10 tablets and we have to weigh the initial weight of 10 tablets. And we have to place the 10 tablets in a friability drum. And we have to create a program. And we have to run the friability drum for 4 minutes. And uh, it is uh, 25 rotations for, for minute. And we have to run for 100 times. So we have to keep it for 4, four minutes. And after the rotations, the sample will automatically collected in the auto sampler sample collector and we have to de-dustify the sample and we have to weigh the uh, final weight of the sample and we have to enter the final weight of the sample to perform the uh, fiability test is to check the uh, strength of the tablet or weight of the tablets due to shocks okay so what is the limit of fiability should not more than one percent okay so if the value is more than one person let us yes. assume that then what you do we have to perform the test for twice and we have to calculate the mean value of three tests and the result should not be more than one person sir okay so what is the usp chapter number of probability one to one six sir okay what is the formula of probability initial weight minus final weight divided by initial weight into 100 okay now coming to the chemical test so yes. I think you operated the HPLC, right? Yes, sir. What is the make of HPLC did you operate? Uh, what is sir? What is? What is the software? Empower software. Empower software. Yes. And what about the GC? GC Shimaju, sir. Shimaju. What is the software? Uh, lab solutions, sir. Lab solutions. Yes. What about dissolution tester? Uh, lab India. Sir. Lab India. So, frankly, tell how many times you operate HPLC totally? So, totally, how many days you took training in Rainbow? Two months, sir. Two months. In yes, these two sir. months, how many times, like how many tests did you perform by HPLC? Three tests I have performed by HPLC. So, what are those? Essay by HPLC, dissolution by HPLC, UOD by HPLC. Sir. Okay. Which product have you taken to perform these all tests? Paracetamol. Sir. Paracetamol. Yes. Can you explain that how to make a sample solutions for essay, dissolution, UOD? I am asking only okay. sample solutions. Yeah. In essay, we have taken, uh, we have crushed the 10 tablets in uh, 20 tablets we have taken 20 tablets and we have crushed the fine powder according to the stp by calculating we have a, a prepared solutions in essay by crushing of the tablets in uod we will dr directly drop a tablet in 10 individual volumetric flasks and we will do further dilution according to stp so in dissolution we have to uh, place a tablets in dissolution media First, we have to run the test in dissolution media and we have to collect the sample which we got from the dissolution test and we have to inject the dissolution media sample into HPLC. Okay, how many samples do you prepare for dissolution? Six samples. Sir. Six samples. For essay? At, uh, one sample. Sir. One sample. What about UOD? How did you prepare the UOD sample? Okay, sir. We have to, uh, we have to take 10 tablets and we have to uh, take 10 volumetric flasks. Each, in each tablet, we have to drop the 10 tablets and we have to do further dilution and we have to uh, do the filters by using sealant filter and we have to inject uh, the sample into in, uh, sample by sample tray vial sir okay okay what are the system suitability parameters in the hpc ha sir 
Retention time, resolution, tailing, theoretical period count, similarity factor, RST and bracking standards. Let us assume that uh, you say that similarity factor, right? Yes. So, what is the formula of similarity factor? Area of standard 1 divided by area of standard 2 into weight of standard 2 divided by weight of standard What is the acceptance criteria? 0 0.98 to 1.02, sir. Let us assume that okay. uh, if similarity factor is fair, okay. let us assume that. Yes. So, what could be the reasons? Maybe the preparation of uh, solutions will be wrong. Analysts have prepared wrong standards or uh, wrong samples, sir. It no, may be I think there is no samples. sample preparation yes, here, right? No, only for standards. Sir. Standard version. Yeah. So, one of the reason may be, analyst may be wrong standard preparation. Yes, sir. Can you elaborate that? Like, you know, if if somebody is, if analyst did this mistake, so okay. this impact on the similarity factor. Can you explain one, yes, one, one case? Uh, if uh, uh, the similarity factor will be a uh, failure, we will not get a uh, uh, correct solution, sir. Mm -hmm. Like uh, there may be chances of a failure of RST. No, no, I am not asking that. I am asking that what you say that any standard preparation wrong. Preparation yeah, wrong means weight, taking the weight wrong or makeup is wrong, pipette out wrong. What? What could be the reason? Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, weight of the uh, Weight, weighing of the sample may be different, sir. He would uh, have been weighed uh, wrong weight, sir. Uh, less wrong weight, weight, in essence, I'll tell you. Okay, sir. Don't use the sample because okay, we don't sorry. check the similarity factor for sample. We check the standards. You know yes. that, right? So, my question here, let us assume that the standard preparation is 100 mg. Okay, sir. Okay. So, yes. Now, tell me. So, if the standard, uh, we have to prepare two standards. Sir. Okay. If uh, standard 1 is prepared for 100 mg hmm. and standard 2, if we prepare for 95 mg, there may be chances for uh, getting the result wrong, sir. Mm -hmm. If we prepare a standard 1 for 100 mg mm -hmm. and standard 2 for 100 mg, if we, we get correct results, sir, mm -hmm. they, we have to weigh standard 1 and standard 2, both should be equivalent, should mm -hmm. be uh, correct, sir. If one may Let us assume that if standard 1 weight is taken uh, 100 mg, yes, sir. but standard 2 weight is taken 95 mg, yes, sir. but at least is substituted ac accurate, like you know, what is the value, what is the weight exactly they he has taken. Yes, so, sir. can it impact on similarity factor? Yes, sir, it will impact How? on similarity factor. See, if at least is taken 100 mg, yes, sir. corresponding 100 mg, he will get area. Yes, sir. If he is taken the standard is 95 mg, corresponding area only he will get it right yes, how sir. it is impact on the results i don't understand see the thing is that if they have to, if the analyst is taken 95 mg but instead of 95 mg but he has he substituted in the formula 100 mg then definitely there is a chances yes, but sir. he has taken 100 mg exactly and he got the area corresponding to 100 mg huh. and he has taken the 95 mg and corresponding area he will get it right yes, it is going sir. to nullify right yes then how it is impact on the similarity factor? Yeah. Then any other reasons? Maybe people touting wrong and make up uh, the solutions will be wrong. Okay. That okay. may be impact in the failure of similarity factors. Okay, that I, I can accept that. Yes. But it is not impact on the weight Wait, huh. taken wrong. Okay. But if he is taken the what is the weight he has taken, if he substituted the same weights, it is not going to impact on the similarity factor. Yeah. Probably it may be right or wrong. That is a different issue. Okay. But it is not impact on the Generally, it is not impact in the similarity factors, right?